Hey, what's up guys? We have an Instagram page. Follow us now, please. Come on. Do it! I'm sorry. Hey, hello. I bet you just got your SPM results, right? How did you do? I bet your parents are already asking you, what you wanna do in your life? What's your future gonna be like? What's your career path? Trust me, I know it's scary, but it's also good to think about your future. So that's why I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you to know all there is to know about the different types of people in college because you need to surround yourself around the right kind of people in order to succeed. Let us begin. Let me first introduce you to the college slacker. Normally these guys will wear a t-shirt with white things and then that doesn't make sense. They wear flip-flops, hair messy, their bags are used as pillows to sleep anywhere and anytime. These are the type of guys where you remember the face but you don't remember their names because they're hardly ever in class. But if they are, this usually happens. Oi! Why are you so late? Sir, I sprained my ankle lah. My crazy ex-girlfriend chased after me. When I wear my pants, I zip up then tekena. I heard a voice this morning uh, telling me, don't wake up. My mother spray red sack, tekena my eye. My ex-girlfriend locked me inside the house, then she swallowed the key. I go bring my cat, Sunat. I got caught in a snowstorm. Sandstorm. Darut sandstorm. You see, he was so good at giving excuses. Uh, he decided to use it for greater good. Well, sort of lah. Breaking news, actor of Fifty Shades of Yellow has been caught up in quite the scandal. He has yet to comment regarding the allegations. We're going to go live now to the press conference. Uh, thank you for coming, members of the media. Uh, for the record, my client did not sleep with 72 women. He merely sleepwalked into 82 women. 72 women! 72 women! Well, like I said, he kind of did well. Next, we have your typical Muay Muay Thai. These girls, you look left, you look right, you look up, you look down, they're everywhere. Then with their Birkenstocks, charm braces, their short shorts and crop tops, long champ or Michael Kors handbags. And these girls sort of have a very soft spot for all things K-pop. Hey, do you watch the latest episode of Goblin? Of course, I would have on you! The woman she saw you! But because she studied computer science and loves K-pop so much, she decided to take those two, combine it together and created the first ever artificial intelligence K-pop boyfriend. Sarang heyo. Oppa, sarang heyo! Next, we move on to our break-free girl. These type of girls right, normally in high school to be sweet, sweet, cute, cute. And after when they move to college, 360 transformation. All of a sudden, they're wild. Yes, you can see them in their leather skirts, their super high heels, their coloured hair, their nose rings and that tattoo that they got for their 18th birthday without their parents knowing. Ooh, so rebellious. They love spontaneous trips. Love partying. Did I mention they love partying? Hey guys, what's everyone doing tonight? Let's party! Um, it's Monday. And we have exams tomorrow. Oh my goodness, guys. What's holding you back? Hello? Live young, wild and free, right? Hey, you know what? Road trip this weekend. How about that? <sighs> what a freedom fighter. But nowadays, not only is she fighting for her own freedom, she is fighting for the freedom of others as well. Recently, when she got her accreditation from the Washington Accord, which is, by the way, a worldwide recognition, she discovered a new tribe, a new village. Okay, so here's the plan. This um, whole house here is gonna be this part and then... Now we move on to our college hipsters. Ha! These guys who hate mainstream and think they're different. But then again, they're not so different because hipsters are everywhere these days. Hipsters become mainstream. As you can expect, the usual, we have the hipster haircut, the hipster glasses, the checkered shirt, the tight jeans, the boots, the hipster bag, and of course, an old calculator watch. And the hipster conversations. Have you been to the new cafe in SS15? The artwork there, so unique. Death cap for cutie, 
Ah, too mainstream. Have you watched that indie film yet? Um, what is it called? Oh, The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So good, right? Genie Boy, you watch Genie Boy? Psh, I cannot. And did you see my new photo on my Instagram page? I am telling you. Did you read the caption? Did you read the caption? It's deep. Deeper than what you think it is. Before you judge, he studied traditional Chinese medicine and after attending the TCM ASEAN conference, huh, he started a hipster cafe that serves ginseng coffee. Tongkat Ali! And it helped the Malaysian population grow by 20%. Some say 25%. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uncle, your chu chu ah? <laughs> My son. Son ah? Hey, the more the merrier, right? And now we turn our attention to the F boys. And no, before you misunderstand me, F stands for Fulama. These guys uh, will pretend like they can get any girl they want, you know, but still single. And you can spot their swag from a mile away. Most of the time with their stone and coat t-shirts, their jogger pants, their seven Friday watches, and their Yeezy shoes. Overpriced hype stuff. They don't pay retail, they pay resell. Hey Joel, did you know the distance from here until here is the same distance from here until here? Now you know that... Well, I guess things didn't work out with him and Joel, but still, he managed to get an American degree from Southern New Hampshire University, and he is now the author of a New York Times bestseller, How to Please Your Mother-in-Law, and also a motivational speaker. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Well, as you can see, it worked out for all the students over here. They enhanced their unique skills and they pretty much made it in life and are successful in their own way. So my advice to you is be yourself. Get as much knowledge as you can and be prepared for the next big step in life. Getting a job. Unless, of course, if you fail your SPM, then it's a different story. Lah. Watch this when you pass, okay? Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching that video. And a big shout out to Inti for collaborating with us. Make sure you check out their brand new Inti campus at Subang Jaya 47500. Represent, yo! And if you want to check out their programs, visit their website at newinti.edu.my. If you're getting your SPM results, all the best. Cross your fingers, your hands, your legs, and whatever you have in between, and hope you get a lot of A's. But if you don't, it's okay. Life goes on. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our previous videos and make sure you subscribe, please.